over here with a Hello, Tigre here. I wanted to record this to help you understand how to change audio from mono to stereo on a clip and also set up for multicam editing. Now, I just ran into these issues. I figured I'd record it for you. That way you have a easy tutorial. We're just going to jump right into it right now and hopefully this helps. So my father and I, we are professional pilots. We're flying client down to Los Cabos from San Diego, and I filmed with two iPhones. Now, something that I had to do at the very first, which I didn't say I was going to show you, but I will, and I have another video for it, and you can click the link above to go check that out, but I needed to de-blow out the video because the newest version of Premiere Pro will do this silly thing where under interpret footage, so I just did right-click, modify, interpret footage, and you can see this in the video too. And I change the color space. You might need to experiment with what yours is. I think it's because I shoot in HDR. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it. But I find that 2020 ends up giving me a better uh, video and less blown out because all these highlights are going to be blown out. So that's just a quick tip. Next tip that I have is I selected both of these because these are the two. And notice how I labeled it. I said um, right descent right and center descent so i know which camera angle it is i could do camera a or cam b all that type of stuff sorry my cat wants out so hold on one second all right kitty cat is happy and that way i know what it is and then i also right click and go to label and you can just start typing on a keyboard and it'll jump you right to there and i could go l-a-b-e-l press right and then choose a color so let's choose rose right so there there it is and now i know which ones are the ones I'm going to use for our multicam. Now, what I want to do is I want to adjust the audio because what will happen if you notice one of these has a tapped in link to uh, Rich, the pilot sitting left, the, the pilot flying. There's an audio link that's tapped to his microphone. So it's in line with the headphone jack. So we're basically recording what we're hearing in our headsets and it recorded for some reason as mono. It doesn't always do that for me but it did it on this case. So I think it's this one. Let's just pull it out and see what it is. And then of course my computer is very angry. Yeah, so now you can see that this is mono. And the way I can tell it's mono is I don't have two of the same wavelength, top and bottom. I have just one giant wavelength. So that means it's mono. Now you'll notice you'll be like, oh, well I dragged it in, now I can edit it and make it stereo. No, you can't actually. So if I come here and I go to audio, just type audio and use my arrows down and go audio channels and press enter, you'll see that it's all grayed out. I can't edit it. And you go like, but why can't I? Like nothing works. Ah. Well, it's because you can't do it in here. And even if we go and edit it over here by going right click, modify audio channels, it's not gonna update it because it's gonna throw this error for us. We're gonna go mono, stereo, check the right channel. So both are all and apply changes to all matching clips and sequences and say, okay. But then it says changes to the clip channel format and a number of audio clips will not affect clips already in a sequence. But it says apply changes to all matching clips and sequences that will be applied the next time this clip is edited into a sequence. Do you want to continue? So I don't know why that is. Adobe, please help us out. Like, is that really the case? Because look, it just said it was going to update it, but then it doesn't update it. So I don't know what's going on. So leave a comment if you know how to solve that. That'd be great. So anyway, what we really have to do is delete that until we figure out why it's like that. Again, come to modify audio channels, stereo, da, da, da. Since we already did it, it's already saved. So really all I needed to do was just drag it out here. And there it is. Great. Now you'll see we have the top and the bottom. The next step I like to do on this, since this is our master, our main primary sound, I'm trying to get the word master out of my language because it's related to slavery and oppression. So the primary sound is coming to essential sound, quick dialog, and I'm going to auto match. Oops, sorry. We are auto matching on that one. I have to actually auto match the correct one. Dialog, auto match. There we go. And you'll see the wavelengths will drop down once it does the auto matching. Or my computer's just lame. I just need to laptop. So if it doesn't work the first time, you'll see it should say auto match under here. And I'm clicking it multiple times and it's 
O premiere. So we'll try to get to that in a second. Let's just see. So I sometimes will go out and in and out and in. I might even clear the audio type. Let's choose that. Choose auto match again. All right, it's being a real pain in the ass. There we go. So there's a, that's what I do. You know, welcome to Premiere Pro. So now we got that. Something that I already did to this clip is, and I always do this when I'm recording two uh, audios, I try to get my fingers in both uh, viewports of the camera and feel the view and I'll snap my fingers and I try to make it visible where I can see my finger hitting my the my uh, index, what is it, middle finger hitting my palm because that's what is the actual click sound. And then I will come in and I'll even like zoom in on the timeline and use my cursor key and back up and see I'm waiting for my snap. And so, so right there. And you can even see in the wavelength sometimes. So it's command or it's option plus or option uh, alt plus. You might even be able to see. So there's there's the actual. So let's put the. Um, I was being a little lazy with. Uh, and you can see you can line up that. Anyway, let's zoom out. So it's just minus. Now let's go back to our project, grab the center camera, and you'll see the center camera if I click it is that angle. And let's drag this on top of that channel so we don't overwrite our stuff. And you'll see that I have this one link. Now the problem with this audio, I'm trying to make it uh, visible and I'm gonna zoom down the audio channel so you can see. As we do have some spikes right there. We can kind of see the spikes of where we snapped. So let's get a little bit zoomed in you see that little peak right there. And what we'll do, I already put the, the marker in there. You just press M for that marker. And as long as it's snapping, which if it's not snapping, it's because you press S at some point and it's allowing you to just to fine tune, move it. So if you need it to snap, just press S again and it'll take you back. So now let's just zoom in and you'll see that that click right there, and we can even mute this track mute that one so that is really where the um first snap was and now let's pull it now let's unmute both and let's just see how this sounds we have if we hear like a then we don't have it right and then we can just use command or, or um, control and the arrows to then nudge one of the clips left or right it sounds pretty accurate. Now I can, I want to remove the audio. So there's a couple ways you can do the audio. As long as you're zoomed in, you can just click it and drag the bar down and make it negative 900, 9,000 decibels, right? Basically turning it off. Or you can right click and say unlink or again, type U and then enter and it'll detach and no longer synchronize your video with your audio. Once that's done, now what we want to do is get ready for multicam. So multicam is going to allow us to, as we play it, press one or two and jump between the two cameras and they're synced. So all the actions happening at the same time sync to our dialogue, which is great. So people aren't confused and be like, you touch that button at this point, blah, 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 and leave us fun comments that we have to respond to. <laughs> you don't have to in the comment section. Anywho, we got our stuff synced. We now need to make it multicam. So what we do first is we select all the cameras. You can have like 10 cameras, but good luck on your computer not dying on you with that. It's just not a professional computer. Go right click. I'm just gonna type um, make multicam. You can't do, you notice multicam is um, grayed out. So we first have to do nest, nest. Name the sequence, whatever you want. It's like descent and approach. It should turn green, cool. And then what I sometimes do is I'll just drag this down and hopefully that's still synced. I'm gonna zoom out just to make sure, cause see, see what just happened? I, I know exactly what just happened. I forgot to trim off the front. So what we have to do is we go up with our arrow key. So we jump to the beginning. I'm gonna go, I've set it up on my keyboard that I say I O U. So I go I, so I went up on my, arrow to the next clip end, press I, and then U. 
and then u is a ripple delete and then i'll zoom in and delete this little chunk so grab that delete now let's select that right click n for nest enter nest it type it again send an approach cool turns green now they're stacked nice now all the audio is balanced but we still don't see multicam up here well what you need to do i already have it here it's that little icon toggle multicam view which is just shift plus o i guess but you come here if you don't see it and you grab multicam right here and you drag it out to your document so you just drag it like that and place it wherever you want so i'm just going to leave it where it's at i don't know if i can put it this side can I? Oh, there you go and say okay there you go now i give it a little more view space there and we're going to toggle it oh wait it's still not working well what's going on well it's because we haven't now that we've nested it we can now make it an enable multicam so now we're going to go multicam so mu and then right enter for enable or use your mouse but try to use your keyboard always keep your hands on the keyboard especially if you're editing and doing anything professional you're going to spend so much more time being efficient versus just wasting now check it out you've got two videos I don't know what extract means, so I haven't played with that. I'm not going to go there. But I have two videos. So now I'm at the head, the start of this. If I press spacebar to play in my timeline. Now, I don't want that clip real quick, right? So I'm just going to go O, press up, back to the top of my playhead. And if it's not snapping, it's because this isn't active. It'll only let you jump by pressing up on the arrow keys if the V1 toggle track for targeting is on. So now I press I, U, I, O, U. And I, I, I love it. It works out really great. You might have a different way of ripple deleting. That's how I do it. So again, let's now press spacebar. I will expect the Echo 1 alpha after 160. And now let's say I want to cut to center. Press 2. November 99. I just want to press one to go back. Have a good day. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. So uh, you want one two eight seven, not one two zero nine for Charlie Juliet? Charlie Juliet, correct. One two eight decimal seven. Go back to center. You know, nothing fun's happening right now. That's what I have to do. Can we? And now press one. And now let's press spacebar. Now the cool part is, let's zoom out. See all these cuts? It basically is cutting for us. And you'll see the, the yellow highlight, which one was active. Now, I don't know if I can, if I'm on this clip, if I can like make that one be active. It looks like I can. See, I've just started playing with this. So as long as you highlight it, you can change it again, which is great. I didn't realize that. Awesome. So powerful, so powerful. And that is basically how you make multicam, fix your audio, and start making really cool videos that are engaging. Now you just have to deal with all the hell of recording lots of videos and managing hard drives and not flying planes, which is what I really want to be doing. But thanks so much for watching. Definitely check out that other video that goes a little more in depth into um, fixing your iPhone footage if it's coming in way too blown out and you're pulling your hair out. And subscribe. Check out all of our flying videos and have a wonderful day.